Hello. For the duration of this video, I will explain how to create and use a custom SWA application. A custom SWA application can be used whenever an official version of the app is not available in the Okta integration network or the service provider has made changes to the login page, thus breaking the SWA flow of an already configured SWA app. Let us begin. It is very important to understand that the end user's credentials are injected on the login page through the Okta Browser plugin. You can get the plugin for Chrome, for instance, from the Chrome Web Store. It is not possible to use a SWA app without this plugin. The Okta Browser plugin uses an encrypted SSL connection to obtain authentication and other required information from Okta and passes that information to the application. The browser doesn't store credentials after authentication is complete. To enhance security, the Okta browser plugin only works with trusted and verified sites. In the next steps, we will use Reddit as an example of setting up a SWA application. After adding the application name, we will need the login page URL from the service provider. Keep in mind that the login page URL must have a static value. If the value changes, then the Octa plugin will no longer work. For this example, I will allow the end user to set his own username and password. After the SWA app is assigned to the end user, the end user must populate the username and the password. Now, the end user must click on the icon. Click on the Open in New Tab button. And the SWA authentication flow is complete. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to check the rest of the Okta support playlist.